Ray and Omar collect stamps. Originally, one-fifth of Omar's stamps were equivalent to one-third of Ray's stamps. If Ray gave Omar 24 stamps, Omar would have three times as many stamps as Ray. Find the number of stamps each of them had in the beginning. This is a problem that was taken from a grade 7 Singapore text and we are going to solve it the way it's done in Singapore, the way it's taught in Singapore. We are going to use a technique that's called um, modeling the solution. I've heard terms like visualizing it or doing it the visual way, modeling the solution. So let's start with uh, what we know. We know that originally one-fifth of Omer stamps were equivalent to one-third of Ray's stamps. So let's say, let's move on to the next slide. Let's say that this is one-fifth of Omar's stamps. I chose five squares to represent all of Omar's stamps. So one-fifth would be one out of five. Now this has to be same as Ray's one-third. So this same symbol should be used to represent one-third of what Ray has. If we know this is one-third of what Ray has, how many squares should be used to... Let me erase that. So basically from the question we know this is one-third of what Ray has. So all, all together Ray should have how many squares of stamps? The answer is three because This doesn't look like a square. So this is one third of that. Three. So let's erase all that and move to the next slide. So that tells me that this is the scenario. Originally, if I use five squares to represent Omar's stamps, I will have to use three squares to represent Ray's stamps. Now, the question also says if if Ray gave Omar 24 stamps, Omar would have three times as many stamps as Ray. What does that mean? How can I move some of these squares around so that Omar would have three times as many as Ray? Well, it seems like if I move one of, Ray, one of these here, I can achieve the desired result. If I move one, I would have six here and he would have two and 6 is 3 times 2, so let's do that. Basically, if I move this here, I get the desired result, so let's move it. So now, Omar has 3 times as many stamps as Ray. Now, recall that this square has to be 24. Why? Because the question said, if Ray gave Omar 24 stamps, Omar would have three times as many. So that's an important point. So each square is worth 24. Let's erase that and move to the next slide. So from that we concluded that each square must be 24. Now based on that I can find out how many square uh, stamps Omar had originally and how many squares or stamps Ray had originally. Well, originally Omar had five squares and that would boil down to be, if each square is worth 24, 5 times 24 or 120 stamps. Originally, Ray had 3 squares and if each square is worth 24, Ray originally had 24 times 3 or 72 stamps.